Hi guys, Kyler here, and today I'm going to share with you footage from what might possibly be the best dive that I've ever been on. So sit back, enjoy, grab yourself a bag of carrots, and let's hop into it. The day started with my dad and I traveling to Sun Rock Marine Preserve, where we met local legend and dive guide, Jim Miner. And after a brief but informative dive briefing, we were ready to hop in for our first dive of the day. But in typical fashion, there was a miscue, and that miscue was, my dad had forgotten his weight pouches in the car, so he was unable to sink. So after some underwater communication, it was decided that my dad would sit this dive out and would catch up with us on the next one. And it didn't take long for this dive to become very special for me. That's right, folks. Your ears did not deceive you. For the first time in my dive career, I had reached the depth of 100 feet. And the excitement didn't stop there, as I saw many creatures that I had never seen before, including my personal favorite, the giant Pacific octopus. And we also saw arguably the cutest and most photogenic creature ever made, the wolf eel. And later on in the dive, Jim pulled off one of the wildest looking dive moves that I had ever seen when he went completely inverted to get footage of a starfish. And judging how the footage turned out, I think it was worth it, but it definitely looked crazy at the time. And as we continued, we found another giant Pacific octopus hiding under this rock and a pair of mated wolf eels that honestly were unironically kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. But the cute vibes definitely came to an end when I saw what appeared to be a crab eating another crab. And after what was such an amazing dive for me, I just had to double check with Jim and make sure that really just happened. How deep did we go? 100. That's what I thought. I was just, I needed clarification if we really did that. Wow, thank you so much for that experience. After a brief break and making sure we had all of our weight pouches, the three of us made a not so brief swim all the way out to the next dive spot where we began our descent. And as we were making our descent towards a shipwreck, I couldn't help but think about something Jim Miner had mentioned during our dive briefing. Yeah, Link <laughs> I'm not giving you the finger if I do this. I like you both. This is Link Hodge. This is the signal for Link Hodge because Link Hodge deserve this because they're the horniest, meanest creatures underwater. They will come right up to you and hit you in the face. So the males guard the eggs and they will just come out and hit you with their noses in your face. And he went on to tell us that while many lingcod live in this area, the biggest one lives here at the shipwreck. So I definitely was on the lookout for it because the last thing I wanted to do was get in a fight with a human sized fish. And after passing by a few good sized lingcods, we made our way to the front of the shipwreck where we found what was quite easily the biggest fish I have ever seen in my life. It was at least five foot long. Thankfully, it didn't bother us. We didn't bother it. And we moved on and continued to see what other kind of creatures we could find. For a second, I really thought this link cod was coming to get me, but thankfully he wasn't. After that, Jim told my dad and I to sit here and watch him while he swam through the hull of the ship. And while him and I were waiting, another link cod decided to come say hello to us. And after watching Jim make his way through the wreck, we left the ship and headed to the next area. And after what felt like a long swim, we arrived at our next location.
After familiarizing ourselves with the local sea slugs, fish, and crabs, we took a moment to discuss that giant lingcod we had seen. Dad was right, it definitely was crazy, and after a quick photo op, we decided it was time for us to get out. All right, guys, that was a great dive. I'd like to thank Jim Miner for being our guide. Be sure to check out his channel. What is it called? The Dive Plan with Jim Miner. With Jim Miner. All right, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, see you all in the next one. Peace.